everyone welcome back to this brand new video here on the channel of games home life in this video i will be showing you the updated version on how to transfer outfits from male to female or from female to male after late patch of 1.43 so this method has been out for such a long time and i wanted to do a updated tutorial on it so you guys know exactly what to do so you can transfer all the outfits that you want over to the character of your choice all at once. So to start off with this glitch, first of all, you need to decide on which character you want the outfits. Now from this point, it's only possible to transfer over to your main character, which has to be on slot number one. So if you want male modded outfits, make sure you have a male character set on slot number 1. And if you want female outfits, make sure you have a female character set on slot number 1. Now as you can see, my male character is on slot number 1. So I'm going to only create male modded outfits using the transfer glitch. So once you have the character of your choice set on slot number 1, either male or female, on your second slot, you need to have the opposite gender. So because I want to make male outfits, my second character has to be a female character. Now if your main character is a female, make sure your second character is a male character. Now this has to be a brand new character. If you already have a second character, I highly recommend deleting that character and creating a brand new character. So either or that way is the easiest to go ahead and start off with this glitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the second slot and I'm going to create a brand new female character. Now I will say if you want to copy the rank, you can go ahead and hit X on that. It doesn't affect the glitch. Now I also recommend do not change anything on the character. You can just go straight over to GTA Online to start creating the components. So go ahead and take a picture and wait for it to load into a session. Alright, so once you have spawned in online with the second character and you do not see a cluster on the map, do not leave GTA Online. All you have to do is find a new session and the cluster should appear on the map. Now you can now go ahead and go to the cluster and create the components of your choice. Now I have created two outfits. I will link them in the pinned comment if they transfer, of course. You can fill up as many slots as you want. If you want, you can also fill up 20 of the slots. So it doesn't matter the amount of slots that you create. Now, once you have created all the components and you have saved them, of course, I highly recommend applying a standard outfit before starting with the actual glitch. Keep in mind that all your outfits will be deleted. So after saving and applying that standard outfit, we can now start off with the actual glitch. All you have to do is walk outside of the closed door, then hit options, make your way over to online and go straight over to creator. Now once you are here, all you have to do is go over to create a race and then select land race. You will now spawn somewhere, it doesn't really matter. First go over to race details, go to title and just type in a random title. It doesn't really matter as, at all as long as we have the warning signs away. Then go ahead and create a description and take a picture. Once you have did these three things, scroll down over to root type and set it to point to point to make it easier to finish. Then back out of this section, make your way over to placement. Go ahead and hit X on place trigger and just go ahead and place it if it is white. Doesn't really matter where you place it. Once you got that, go over to lobby camera and also here, take a random picture. You then go over to checkpoints, set the maximum players over to two players. Then just go ahead and place approximately three checkpoints. So I suggest just go ahead and, you know, follow a straight line to make it easier for the race. It needs to be at least 0.62 miles. 
so make sure you have that I recommend placing like three checkpoints so this was my first one which is 0.31 miles I'm going to place another one right here and then that one will be the second one and the third one has to be at least 0.62 miles so I will be placing it right here and as you can see I have reached the limit I have 0.78 miles which is okay and I have three checkpoints so if the warning sign is away and you have 0.62 miles you got that or higher doesn't really matter with three checkpoints it's all okay all you have to do is back out of the menu and go over to test so once you see the car hold down the gas button do not do a quick start or anything just go ahead and finish the race do not change the radio station. Like I said, just finish the race. So once you have finished the race and you see this alert, go ahead and wait about five seconds on the alert. That's what I do most of the time. Then just go ahead and hit OK on that. Once you are back on the screen, go over to the options button, make your way over to online and scroll over to choose character. So now you will be back at the character selection screen. Pay attention here because if you delete the wrong character, it's not my fault. You have to go ahead and delete the second character, which is wearing the standard outfit and also has the components saved. So do not delete your main character, delete your second character. So scroll over to that second character, hit square, then hit X and then just go ahead and type in delete. Then just go ahead and hit done and wait for it to delete the character. So your circle in the bottom right corner should go from yellow to white. If you see that, you hit the glitch. All you have to do once you're on the screen, go ahead and hit circle to go back over to single player. So if you see a all yellow circle or a all white circle, I don't think the outfits have been transferred since it has always been successful if I have a yellow going to white circle. So once you have hit circle and you are back in story mode, as soon as you can, can hit options. Now once you have hit options, go over to online, scroll to play GTA online and choose any of the sessions. I suggest going over to a go session or going over to a invite only session. Either one of those two would be the easiest. Now it should go from a yellow circle to a white circle or just stay with a yellow or stay with a white circle. It doesn't really matter at this point which circle you have. I most of the time have a yellow circle. I do want to say too that this method works on PS4, Xbox and I'm also sure that it works on PC since you do not have to do anything with recent activities or anything like that. So once you spawn back, you should be able to see your outfits and you should also be back on your male character. So I was still wearing a outfit from the latest um, transfer glitch. If you want the tutorial on the outfit that I am wearing in this video, I will link it through in the description. Now you can either choose to view the outfits from your interaction menu or like I suggest, going over to your own closet or to the clothes store to view the outfits. So as you can see on slot number one, I have created this outfit right here. And on slot number two, I have a fully checkerboard outfit except the gloves, but yeah. So these are two outfits that I wanted to show you in this video. If you want a tutorial on these two outfits, check the pinned comment. I will leave all the components there. So I hope this tutorial has made the director mode or the creator outfit transfer glitch more easier for you to understand. Feel free to leave any questions, but I think I've said everything in this tutorial. Now, if you want outfit tutorials, take a look on my channel. I have uploaded loads of tutorials on different outfits so yeah this was basically the video and yeah like i said i hope this one helped out please subscribe and turn on post notifications to get informed with more videos and i hope to see you back in the next video here on the channel
Bye everyone. Be drops out.